Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Rodev, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my simulator kit for absolutely free. So let's get right into it. So this right here is my simulator. So as you guys can see, when I click, I get strength. And this is actually on a cooldown that you can set yourself. You can also set how much strength you get per click, and you can also do it for multiple tools. It's really easy to customize, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it and exactly what to do. So as you can see, I can step on here and it's going to sell. And if I get some more strength real quick, I can show you guys how the data saves. If I hit stop, it's going to actually print out my data right here. And if I hit play again, it's also going to load my data back up. So even if I don't sell my strength, it's going to give me my strength back so I can sell it the next time I play. And now I have 98 cash, 0 strength, and it's going to save that data as well. It does say 1 cash, 2 strength, but that just uh, that's not what it means. It's something else. So uh, now I'm going to uh, show you guys exactly how to get this kit in your game. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up my Discord server. So to get this kit in your game, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and join my Discord server from the link in the description. Once you join my Discord server, it's going to be on your screen looking like this. What you want to do is scroll down to the video models channel and once you're in uh, this channel right here, what you can do is scroll to the top, scroll down a little bit more, and you'll be able to find the simulator kit. Once you find the kit, all you have to do is go ahead and click on it. It's going to open up the link, and it's going to bring you into your browser. And from here, what you can do is go ahead and press the get button. For me, it says try in studio because I own it and I created it, but it's going to say get right here. Once you get the kit, the next thing you want to do is go back to Roblox Studio. Once you go back to Roblox Studio, what you want to do is go ahead and open up your toolbox. Once you open your toolbox, I'm going to go ahead and delete the kit I already have in here. And then uh, what you want to do is click this button right here. Then what you want to do is just go ahead and make sure it's set to my models and then go ahead and click the simulator kit. Click OK because it has scripts in it. And then what you can do is open this up. Now for all of these uh, places or services, you want to go ahead and drag them in. So basically what you want to do is uh, drag the server script service one into server script service. Then right click it and then click on the ungroup button. And that's really important so make sure you do that. Same thing for starter pack, right click it and then ungroup it. And then for workspace, put it in workspace, right click it and ungroup it. And then for the simulator kit folder right here, you can right click and delete it once it's empty. And then from there, what we can do is go ahead and customize the tool. So inside the way, you'll find a folder called simulator tool. And you just want to go ahead and edit the cooldown if you uh, if you want to. I'm going to make it one second. And for the amount, you can also change it to like two. You can also change the name of the stat. So if you don't want a strength simulator, you can go ahead and change that. Say you want something like a balloon, a balloon simulator. You can get a balloon tool, then put this simulator tool folder inside the balloon. And then with that, uh, what you can do is go ahead and change up the amount and cooldown. So I'm actually going to do, uh, do that real quick to show you guys. So just to show you guys how easy my kit is. So basically, I'm just going to get this balloon. And then I'm going to put it into the starter pack. And then inside the balloon, I'm going to delete everything that's not a part. And then I'm going to drag the simulator tool folder into the balloon. I'm going to delete the old weight. And then inside the simulator tool folder, I'm going to change the amount to like 3. I'm going to change the cooldown to 0 0.5. And then after that, we don't have to touch anything else. The only thing left is to go to leader stats, go to main stat, and then change the value right here. And by the way, if you don't see explorer or properties, go to view and make sure you turn them both on right here. And then uh, in the main stat right here, we can actually go ahead and change the cash. I'm going to call it money. And then for the secondary stat, we can call it like balloons or something. And once you're done that, guys, you can go ahead and load up the game. If there are any errors in the output, what you have to do is open up the script, go to DS key right here, and change it to anything you want. Just make sure it's not the same as the last one. Hey guys, so I'm editing the video right now, and I just realized that I forgot to tell you guys something really, really important. So basically, uh, to make sure the data actually saves, what you need to do is click home, and then click on game settings, then go down to like security, and then make sure you uh, turn on studio access to API services. If it's not on, the data won't save, so make sure you turn that on. And that's basically all, all there is for me. And then what you do is go and hit play, and all the data will be reset, but the simulator will work. So if you change the leader stat folder names right here, you're going to have to reset all the data. But now, as you can see, when I click my balloon, I get balloons, and I can sell it. And it's using the cooldown, and it's also using the amount that I put, that I specified. So as you can see, when I step on here, it sells, and when I click, it gives me balloons. So that's basically how you set up a simple simulator with my simulator kit. And other than that, guys, if this video really uh, did help you, and you set up your own simulator, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe, just so I know that the video did help you. And yeah, other than that, guys, uh, the video on screen right now is one that YouTube thinks you really like. And if you don't like it, you can always go ahead and click off. But if you do like it, make sure you go ahead and watch it through. But yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.